Holy hell, that's a giraffe. <laughs>
Ellie's backstory is tragic, man. Anna? Anna? Is that her name? It's not your fault. We were delayed getting out of the zone. I know. She's hungry. I didn't want to nurse her. Damn. Find someone to bring her up and make sure that she's safe. I can't do that. I don't want you to give her this. Damn, man. I can't. How long have we known each other? Wow. Marlene and Ellie's mom are really close. This is heartbreaking for her. Oh. up right now and then you kill me no nah, don't have marlene do it have like one of the guys do it but mm. you're basically asking your best friend to you know take you out hold her head oh marlene's gonna do it telling your best friend to do it oh god yo <laughs> In such a short time, we got Ellie's backstory. Tragic backstory. Well, I found this in there. Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. Hey. Oh, cool. Roll it on the ground tour. <laughs> Just like they do in the commercials. Have you ever played this? Boggle? Boggle. It's a word game. I think I've played that game before. They had a guitar in that RV. I haven't played in forever. Oh, that's right. Maybe I could teach you. I bet you'd be great at it. I think he mentioned that earlier in the earlier episodes that playing the guitar, I think. Ellie. Hmm? Clearly something is on her mind. That'd be great. That'd be cool. Joel can teach her um, how to play the guitar. More bonding. That's what that would be. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Cut through that building to get around that stuff, find a skyscraper, go up and look around. Actually, this time I was thinking we blast our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that. <laughs> really? No. No. So we're gonna cut through that building, <laughs> find a skyscraper, go up and look around. Yeah. I heard you going, didn't I? Something's wrong with her. You okay. Yeah. Fine. Just you kind of seem extra quiet today, so. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah, she's not talking as much. One. Teamwork. Whoa. Whoa. Damn, Ellie. What the hell? Why did she do that? Whoa. It just drops the ladder Ellie. like that. Up here. Oh my gosh. Child, you are running off. What? Holy hell, that's a giraffe. Oh my god, that's a giraffe. Oh, what? What Whoa. are you doing? It's all right. Can you hurry up? Come on. I can't tell if that giraffe is CGI or an actual real giraffe. So, either way, good job on the special effects. Remember when The Walking Dead had that fake CGI deer? <laughs> God, that was horrible. But this looks great. Dude, that's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. So cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, where's she going? Jump on it. Okay. Now I understand why she was, you know, she just sped off like that. Totally understandable. Whoa, there's multiple. Five giraffes. Is it everything you hoped for? Got its ups and downs. <laughs> you can't deny that view. Ah, uh, episode two. We don't have to do this. What do you mean? What else are we supposed to do? Nothing. We just go back to Tommy's. We forget about the whole damn thing. Just, After all we've been through. Right, just turn around like that? Everything I've done. 
You're right here. It can't be for nothing. Like you're right at the doorstep of this journey. You're just gonna turn around now? And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's, Sheep Ranch, the moon. <laughs> Play the guitar. I'll follow you anywhere you go. But there's no halfway with this. Nope. We finish what we started. Get the job done. Continue on this journey. Hey, I'll say it now. This season, this finale episode better not end in a cliffhanger. I, it better not. It better not. If it does, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know. Depends on how they do it. If it does in a, you know, a cliffhanger. I don't want a cliffhanger, but if it does, it's gotta be done right. Because we have no idea when season two is gonna drop for the show. My prediction is 2024. I feel like HBO might drop it in 2025. Emergency medical camps. Obviously didn't last. They had me in one just like this. It's for this. Ah, uh, the guy who shot in this. Nope. Well, I gotta hand it to the yeah. army people. They were way better at stitching you up than I was. It was me. What? I was the guy who shot and missed. He tried to take himself out? I mean, losing his, losing Sarah brought him to that point. Sarah died, and I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. Dang, you still had your brother, though. That's crazy to say. And I wasn't scared either. I was ready. So how did you miss? Went to pull the trigger. I, I flinched. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you all this is... I know why you're telling me all this. Yeah, I reckon you do. So time heals all wounds, I guess? It wasn't time that did it. No way. Oh. Well, I'm glad that that didn't work out. Me too. Wow. That is... He didn't say the words, but you can definitely put it two and two together. Ellie is what healed his wounds. Shitty puns. Oh. oh. <laughs> Pull out the book. People are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. Dan, that's the first one she read. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Seven. Oh! Give it a uh -uh. five. Five out of ten. What the hell? Is that a concussion grenade? Oh. Ellie! Ellie! <gasps> oh, in the back of the head. Damn. Fireflies. Not the other fireflies. See? Oh. Marlene! What? The troll didn't know who you were. Oh, okay. I was about to say. But I owe you. We all owe you. Just take Big time. I can't. She's being prepped for surgery. Surgery? Our doctor. He thinks that the cordyceps in Ellie has grown with her since birth. Why is she in surgery? It makes normal cordyceps think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's immune. He's going to remove it from her, multiply the cells in a lab, produce those chemical messengers. Make a cure. And then we can give it to everyone. Okay. He thinks it could be a cure, Joel. So there's got to be a catch, though. She has to survive the surgery, right? Cordyceps grows inside the brain. We didn't tell her. We didn't cause her any fear. There no. won't be any pain. No, you take me to her. You take me to her right now! Oh! Oh! Well, she's been living with it her whole life, so I'm pretty sure it has reached her brain. Oh, my God. The surgery is going to kill Ellie. You don't understand. I do. I was there when she was born, Joel. I promised her mother that I would save her child. I promised. Save? You're not... S You're not saving her, though. There's got to be another way, man. I have no other choice. Do. He tries anything. Shoot him. Damn. Brought him all this way just for her to get to surgery and be told that she's going to have to die in surgery for a cure? Come on, Marlene. There's got to be another way. What's he thinking about? What's he thinking about? Joel's about to do something. I feel it. He's 
This walk, he's just thinking. I said, keep walking. Oh. Where is she? I don't have time for this. Damn! Oh my god. He's going after her. He's going after her. all this way to keep her alive and that's what he's doing God. oh jeez oh god leak god joel he surrendered He's absolutely killing people right now. Wow. Whoa. He's taking them all out. Look at his face, emotionless, just on a mission. On a mission. Ellie's behind the door. He's made a choice to save her rather than have a cure for the rest of the world. How did you get in here? I said, unhook her. I won't let you take her. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Dang. Cover her arm. Took that guy out fast. Damn, spared the rest of the doctors except for that guy. Maybe he shouldn't have threatened Joel. <laughs> it's, I mean, that's a lot to talk about. It's basically his daughter he saved. Oh, Marlene. How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? Because she lives in a broken world that you could have saved. Oh, snap. But it isn't for you to decide. Or you. So what would she decide, huh? Yeah. I think she'd want to do what's right. Ellie never had a choice. But I wonder what her choice would have been. Even after what you've done, we can still find a way. We can still find a way to save her? How come you didn't say that before? What did he do? They were running some tests on you. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. Dozens of them. He's lying to her. They couldn't make any of it work. They've actually stopped. Wow, Joel. They stopped looking for a cure. Are people hurt? Damn. He shot Marlene. Yes. Is Marlene okay? He killed Marlene. Oh, he lied to her. Oh my God, he lied to her. Please, let me go. Yeah, let her go. You just come after her. Whoa! Joel, why? Oh my God! Oh! Whoa! Uh, Jesus, dude. He showed no mercy at all to anybody in the hospital. Especially Marlene. Oh my god, he lied to Ellie. That's a big lie, man. That's a big lie. Oh yeah, down the road, that's... Come on, man. I can see it coming. Down the road, the truth is going to come out. Someone either survived... And is going to tell Ellie, or he's going to actually tell the truth to Ellie. I can see it coming. When Sarah and I used to hike like this all the time. But she was a big climber. Or a scampering. Guys, I am so shocked at what just happened. <laughs> Look at that view. Good gracious. Back in Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. 
When I got bit in the mall, I, I wasn't on my own. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. Oh, she took out Riley. And she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It... Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. Right. But if you just keep going, you find something new to fight for. And maybe that's not I what swear you want. Like. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. Oh! Double down on your truth. Oh! Whoa, this is going to backfire. Oh my god! He swore. And he did. He holding on to a big lie. Okay. Wow. Ah! Damn you, this episode was what? 40 some minutes? Ah! Oh, wait a second. Ashley Johnson played Ellie's mom. Ashley Johnson played Ellie in the video games. So, the video game character of Ellie basically gave birth to the live action character of Ellie. Played by Bella Ramsey. That's, that's crazy to look at. But that's cool. In the last episode, it was uh, Troy Baker, who plays Joel in the, in the video games, but he played a bad guy in the last episode. That's awesome. Wow. Well, there you guys have it, the finale to The Last of Us Season 1. What did you guys think about this episode? Comment that down below. I'm pretty sure um, this finale episode is going to be divisive. Just like, I'm pretty sure this played out exactly how it does in the game. And I'm pretty sure the game's ending is very divisive. And it probably still is divisive. So the same will happen here. Um, because it just boils down to like, you know, two questions. Um, is Joel right in this? I mean, that's a big decision that he made. He chose to save Ellie over saving the rest of the world. The one cure is on the table, about to have surgery. A surgery in which she won't survive because the infection has spread to her brain. The cordyceps has spread to her brain. So she's going to die there on that table. But with her death becomes a cure which saves the rest of humanity. And Joel took it in his hands to wipe out literally every single firefly that was holding onto a gun and showed no mercy, which is what is shocking. People begging for their lives, he still took them out. Then marches in, and a doctor with a scalpel, a doctor with a scalpel in his hand, poses a threat to Joel. Joel with a gun. And Joel took out that doctor and nobody else in that room. Simply, that doctor, the head doctor, took him out. Why? I, why? I mean, oh my god, like, my mind's just racing right after watching this episode. But he decides to save Ellie. And the cure, her sole purpose was to be a cure. Like, that's wild. And she's not going to be able to fulfill that. And Joel holds on to this big, gigantic lie about, you know, lying to Ellie straight to her face that he did not kill the Fireflies, and that he did not kill Marlene, in which we saw him do that. And she begged for her life, and he still killed her. I mean, yeah, he's right that I'm pretty sure Marlene would have survived that situation somehow, some way, and then would have gathered up any surviving Firefly in that situation that was supposedly bleeding out in the hospital. She would then gather them in a group of men, and go out to find Joel and take out Joel in order to complete this mission of finding a cure. So Joel's right about that. And I do think that Marlene would have, you know, tried to get back at Joel. And he takes her out. You could tell with his facial expression throughout this scene, he made his decision as soon as he was being walked down the stairs. And then as he's walking down the stairs, he's just thinking about how he's going to, you know, grab a gun and march all the way to Ellie and get her out. Like, his decision was so centered focus on Ellie that this man was dropping bodies. Was not missing. But yeah, this is... I'm eager to see what you guys think in the comments. 
that's one. I'm eager to see how social media reacts, whether it's on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. Um, I'm, I mean, wow. I mean, like I said, I haven't played the games, so I wasn't able to join that discussion, you know, in the years past of how gamers thought this ending was. I'm pretty sure, like I said, was very divisive. People saying that Joel is wrong, and they have the right to say that. I mean, he chose to save Ellie, and rob her of her purpose of saving humanity. Just crazy, man. Like, wow, a split second decision took no time in deciding what to do. And he sees Ellie as a second chance of having a daughter. He lost Sarah, as we saw on the premiere episode, the first episode. So he sees this as a second chance at life. So is that toxic of Joel to, I mean, he's not abandoning Sarah. Sarah will always live in his heart, but he sees Ellie as another daughter which is cool but sometimes in my head i'm just thinking like does he see ellie for ellie or does he see ellie as another sarah i mean the last episode we called her baby girl that's a heartfelt moment but after days of thinking about it i just think like yeah he called sarah that too as well I mean, I don't know. Is Joel toxic? Like, my mind's racing. Oh my god, I can't wait to watch Ending Explains. I'll have to be careful on which Ending Explains I watch because people are, you know, eager to post spoilers about Part 2, even though I haven't played those games yet, but I will. Like I said in my intro video, make sure you guys answer that question. What should I do leading into, you know, The Last of Us Season 2? But focusing on this finale episode, like, is Joel toxic? Did Joel make the right decision? Oh my God, it's such a hard choice. For me, I think, like, you want Ellie to live. I want Ellie to live. I mean, I'm pretty sure there had to have been another way for her to live. But the cordyceps has reached her brain. You know, you remove that and be able to, you know, do the workarounds to, you know, form a cure, she has to die. But is there someone else like Ellie? I highly doubt that. But... There's got to be a chance, another way to, you know, save Ellie's life. But the doctors were so quick to get her on that table and just instantly start surgery. And Joel couldn't even, you know, speak with her. And I'm pretty sure Ellie did not think she was going to die on that table. So there's a lot of things that weren't discussed. A lot of things that we as an audience aren't shown. I wonder if, you know, the guys and the girls that played this game, were you shown you know, certain things like, was Ellie discussed the situation of, hey, you get on this table, you're going to die. Do you want to go through this, Ellie? Did the doctor say that to her? I don't know. Is that discussed in the games? I don't know. Um, In the game, is Joel allowed to see Ellie and talk to her about this decision? I don't know. But they, they basically hold him off, and Marlene's like, yeah, you don't get any last words. I mean, like, that's wrong. The least thing you could do in that situation before, you know, shoving him out the door is basically letting him have his last moments with Ellie to talk about the situation. And then having Joel ask Ellie the question, do you want to go through with this? Option A, you're gonna die on this table, but you're gonna be a cure for so many people, bringing humanity back to life. Or option B, do you not wanna go through with this? And we can walk out of here. But the question is, <laughs> would Marlene and the Fireflies allow a cure to walk right out the door? No. So, golly, man, the discussion is really, it's its very divisive. I can see exactly why. It's very divisive. But for me, I think Joel is in the wrong here. I mean, but this is coming from a person. I don't have kids, you know? I don't have kids. I'm not a father. So... I'm asking a person, you know, you who's watching this reaction, if you are a father, what would you do in this situation? Are you saving your daughter? If not daughter, are you saving your son in this situation? But for me, I don't have a child. But I'm looking at the bigger picture, saving humanity here. You know, sacrificing someone you love to save countless people. I mean, I feel, I feel like that's the right thing. But if I was to save, if I was a father to save my child, but then to live with 
that idea in my mind for the rest of my life of I'm living with someone that could have saved the rest of the world and I robbed everyone, all of humanity, of a cure. I did that. And then for, say, you know, word gets around. Say if someone survived a shot from Joel in that situation and somehow got medic help and told about this story. You know, say if someone, oh my God, say if a firefly survived that situation and goes about and tells someone that this man, Joel, took away a cure for everybody on earth and is out living about happy with this cure. Oh my God. Talk about revenge, right? I mean, geez, talk about revenge. And then obviously, you know, someone survives that situation, gather up a group of people, and it's like Joel is a wanted man across America because word can spread fast, you know? Wow. Uh, I don't know how Last of Us Season 2 is going to play out, but I feel like this man, Joel, is going to have a target on his back if someone survives. But we saw in that hospital scene, he was showing no mercy. But for the rest of the episode, I enjoyed. That giraffe scene was really cool. Um, seeing them bonding on this journey and seeing how far they've come. And then hearing the story about Joel about to take himself out, but then deciding not to. And then seeing him grow through that. But it's kind of wild to me. Yeah, he loses his daughter and it brought him to that point. But he still had Tommy. So that tells me that Tommy still wasn't able to save him in that situation from, you know, taking himself out. And, you know, he gets past that jump uh, years later. He meets Ellie and he doesn't say it, but he implies that him meeting Ellie and going on this journey with Ellie heals his wounds. You know, uh, this episode basically teaches that time uh, doesn't necessarily heal all, but people. Ellie definitely helped out Joel uh, heal his wounds. So a very good finale episode, a very good ending. I mean, this is what a finale does. It gets the people talking. It gets me talking. It gets you talking. If a finale doesn't do that, then a finale does not reach its peak. And I think this episode does reach its peak. Is it the best episode of the season? No. For me, episode five, that is my favorite episode. That episode gave me all the emotions. I connected with that episode so much. Um, but overall with this season, phenomenal. Each episode is good. I don't see a weak episode. I don't see a bad episode. I see nothing but good, great, better, phenomenal, all that. This first season has been spectacular, man. Phenomenal. I don't know how many uh, other big words of positivity I can share, but you name it, that is what this season of The Last of Us is to me. I enjoyed it and hopefully you guys enjoyed my reactions. I can't wait to discuss this finale on social media so make sure you guys follow me on all my social media platforms. Not only that, I can't wait to discuss in the comments. So hit the comments uh, about what you guys think about this finale, what you think about my reaction. What do you guys think? You know, which side are you choosing? Is Joel right or is Joel wrong? Who are you siding with? Uh, please hit the comments. I'm eager to talk to you guys more about it. And if you stayed this long to watch my review on not only this season of season one of The Last of Us, but this finale episode, thank you. Because I know a lot of people, they just come for the reaction, then they dip. But you personally, if you stayed through this review, I thank you. I can't wait for The Last of Us season two. You guys can expect reel it in reactions for that too as well. By that time, I would have played Last of Us part one. Um, I'm not sure. Option A, play Last of Us Part 2 and then go into watching The Last of Us Season 2. Or option B, watch Last of Us Season 2, play Last of Us Part 2 after watching that second season. That is something I need help deciding with. How should I go about that? Be sure to, you know, sound off in the comments. But I enjoy this finale. I'm going to miss this show. Sundays uh, feel empty now, now that we don't have The Last of Us. I mean, I watched House of the Dragons those reactions are on the channel. Be sure to check that out. But I had my Sundays with that show, and then my Sundays were empty. And next thing you know, The Last of Us comes along, and I'm fulfilled. And now I'm back to, you know, missing out on the love on Sundays. But, hey, 
this is the end of Pedro Pascal with The Last of Us Season 1 until we get Season 2. But hey, you get more Pedro Pascal on Wednesday with The Mandalorian, so we got that. So I, I'm happy. More Pedro Pascal, the better. Uh, so my, my weeks still have Pedro Pascal, so I'm happy. But I can't wait to hear you guys' comments down below. Like this video, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction video on this channel. Thank you guys for watching as always. This is Realer Than Reactions. I'm Realer Than Miles. I'll catch you guys in The Last of Us Season 2. Peace.